I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. Don't turn around! It's Jessica and welcome back to Vampire. So we're gonna continue on with this quest. This guy wasn't really helpful because uh, he didn't really give us information on like the person he was. I wonder if I can check into the the logbook of the people we've met. Is that possible? All right, fine. I guess we're gonna leave now. That wasn't really if much help Swansea to us. Is not my attacker. It means somebody else came here tonight. Yep. Someone must know something. Can we ask? Uh, ma'am, can I ask you? Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. Um... <laughs> I just want to talk. It's not like I'm looking for anyone. I just want to talk to you. No, what's going on? What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic. And now all these terrible murders. So everyone's scared to come out. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer, sewer dog. dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. What, like a werewolf? But now he's killing in the streets. Okay, what about the epidemic? What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Mm -hmm. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. Okay. Uh, what the truth? I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Uh... Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What? What happened... Why? Wait, what happened? What happened tonight? He was dead drunk as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you afraid, though? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. Because he's hands. a vampire. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. I don't think that's how it works, lady. I think you have to get bit by a vampire. <laughs> Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay, so we got someone. Citizen hits. You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about your citizen or someone related to them. Ooh, so we can even get like menus about the citizen and whatever. So we can just... Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood equality bar indicates the XP you will earn. Okay. Yeah, so we need more. I don't want to kill- oh, I gotta kill people, don't I? Fuck. Alright, well... Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. Well, that was rude as hell! What the fuck? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Who is the sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. Yeah. You murdered someone. Blamed a it is, It's true. If you think about it, like, in real life, when, like, especially back in the day when murders happened or people disappearing and they had no answer for it, they would just come up with, like, this very fictitious person or being and be like, it was that thing! And they took them and killed them. Even though it's probably not like that. Welcome back. 
Nice camera I shot. <laughs> I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Okay, what about William? We got a, we got the hint from the lady. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend William. Yes, Will came by. Whoa, tonight, what, what is his voice change? He's not my friend anymore. Who is he? Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Uh, is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. Are you sure? How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Why'd you lie to me? To protect his Why friend, I'm assuming. If he is not your friend. Oh, he's not his I friend. Didn't lie. <laughs> I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. He twisted his words then. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Sure. Okay, so we can track the killer. I cannot end. Damn it. Inspect the boats, too. Okay, um... I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. Yep. What's being done to me? To this city? I, I just feel like, you know, John should just change his shirt so he doesn't look obvious that he's a freaking vampire. <laughs> Hello? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Okay, examine the outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Didn't make it. This corpse has been dried of its blood. Just like the previous week. So, just took the blood, examined the boat first. Blood and empty gin bottles. So it's the guy. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Jesus. What's this? Some sort of note. Ooh. Pre-win orders? Oh, here we go. Uh, October 30th from McCullum? Object. Multiple deaths in the dock region. We believe the nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning. According to our recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we locked the men in this part of town, but I don't send rookie to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied... We got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places for us, like old houses, basements, sewers, and warehouses. Destroy the leech, uh, brothers. So this guy was part of Prinwin, which is the vampire hunters. Interesting. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay, let me go over there. Can I just teleport? Oh, I can. All right. Um, let's see, there's a guy, more blood this way, I don't know, there's people in here, isn't there? Oh! Stay silent behind an- I'm just gonna bite this dude! <laughs> just for now! Ah! Sorry, dude. Uh, I had to do it. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, there's a guy over there. Go oh god damn it, I didn't even see the guy. Prindwin Fire Executioner? What? Oh god, we're gonna die. Okay. Just bite this dude. Alright, that's it. Good job. <laughs> This one's mine! Ah. 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 
Why? Okay, come on. Come on now. I think my only problem with the combat is sometimes it doesn't register when I click the button and like it kind of goes off a bit. So that's my only problem so far with the gameplay. Okay, I think I should teleport up here. I think that'd be smarter. There's a dude over there. Okay. Oh, he's gonna come this way anyway. What the fuck? They're burning vampires down there! Shit. Okay, if this guy will turn around, I can grab him. Turn around! <laughs> Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right, vampire in here. Alright. Alright, so blood here, and then the blood goes up here? Shit, there's more guys over there. Let's see. Blood. Blood going this way. That's a lot of blood. Fresh. Jesus blood. Christ. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Two-handed weapons. Uh, two-handed weapons. Press tri triangle to use this ability. Okay. We've done it before. I think there's one vampires in there. A lot of vampires in here. Hello. This place reeks of bloodshed. How many fucking people did they kill? This creature is bedeviled. I must. Put oh her. God! We actually have to fight William Bishop. We can oh dang! Okay, here we go. Ow! Shit, dude! Why? Just gonna drink some more blood. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, come on over here. Eh. Die. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> come on. Come on, Jonathan. Hit him. There we go. Um, okay. This guy's okay, right? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Oh, it's a Mr. priest? Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. Dude, turn around! Oh. The fuck? Who's this? Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. That's the lady who we heard. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, sure, just teleport away, I guess. So. What's a skull? By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer. Yeah, sure, you came too late with your freaking boat, dude. To secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. 
William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock Dude, you're in shock this. right now. Go with a good doctor, Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Oh, now you want to help me. <laughs> I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Yeah, just give me a sec. I actually want to know. So, are skulls, like, different from us? This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I must find a place to analyze the blood. Like, there's different types of vampires. Like, we're one kind, uh, and like the skulls are a different kind. I guess I can go now. That was interesting. Let's go. So, the Brotherhood, I'm pretty sure they're here to help the vampires, but I don't think they're there to kill them. Is that just me? I feel like they're not really trying to do that because... Where are we headed? They're just after the guy who to the started it. It's just across the canal. Okay. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Why do you keep saying that? You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Okay, great. I just want to know who she is. Like, what is her name, first of all? London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious... Yeah, same. Of, ...of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. So he's a doctor. A physician. Like yourself. Doctor. Interesting. Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. We're a famous doctor, after all. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Thanks. Uh, glad you're a fan, dude. Have you looked? <laughs> I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration He's a fanboy! And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but... When myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Hmm. Of that, you are right. Why are we stuck here? Well, <laughs> then let me be blunt. What's up? Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your... Well, I mean, he does have a point. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Well, you know, yeah, it works out. So, what do you say? I mean, do we really have a choice at this point? I don't think so. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful... Friendship. I hope so. At first, 
this guy was kind of shady when I was first talking to him, but like, you know, he kind of warms up a little bit once you get to know him a little bit. Definitely number one fanboy of Jonathan Reed. Okay, so we're at the hospital now. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, finally, we got a change of clothes. Thank God, because I'm really look like, oh, God, look like a night. bloody we mess. Two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, just, you know, I'm a vampire too, okay. <laughs> here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Okay. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. All right, th thank you for shaking my hand way too long there, Edgar, but all right. <laughs> uh, cool, so we got a new job and uh, got new clothes. Great, this is awesome. All right, analyze William Bishop's blood at uh, the hospital. It's locked. Okay. District, our area is healthy. That's good. Um, what? The hell's going on? Um. Rotten old crusty. Each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. What? Try it all. Oh, we're being tested again because the guy got stabbed. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. I can choose what kind of asshole I want to be. I'll let you bleed. Be more polite. I'll kill you. How about, first of all, you be more nicer? Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spinning out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. I'll be nice for now. I was so tempted to, like, kill this guy. But, um, uh, blood quality. The blood quality indi indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you'll get. The guy has 500 quality, 500 XP. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize and leave them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level will be equal to and higher to the citizen's resistance. Ooh. We can mesmerize him? Bring this fading light into the shadows. Whoa. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Okay, so this is obviously a test because, like, we need to, like, do this. Okay, whoa, you can embrace, provide XP boost. Should I kill this guy? I kind of want to do it just for, like, this first try. I just want to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> well... Bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Huh? I'll kill you. 
Well, that was interesting. Um, sorry, dude. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I do kind of feel guilty for killing that guy, but at the same time, he was an asshole. So, I don't know. Ah, uh, let's just pretend I didn't see anything. I didn't kill that guy. It's okay. Just go back to the hospital. Okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know exactly where to go. Oh, there you are. Doctor, where have you been? I've got uh, time to play hide and seek with new nowhere. members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Right, so we should go find our office. That's pretty cool we get an office and stuff, but... Ha! Huh, this is I can tell this is definitely gonna be difficult for me to, like, make a decision. Do I kill someone? Do I not? Because... My general consensus is like, for now at least, if they're an asshole, I'm just gonna like bite them and drink their blood, but that might change later on, because I don't know. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Yeah. We're on the second floor, right? Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. Um, let me just go upstairs. Oh. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. The new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough? Huh. Puny this muscle. is interesting. What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I find that interesting that this hospital takes in vampires. I guess that would make sense why they accepted Jonathan to like be a doctor here. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave you. Okay. I gotta go to the second floor for real though. So I can see my office. This is a big hospital. Okay. That's the- ooh, is this the surgeon's table? Yeah. I'll just take the saw, just in case, you know, because I might need it! Okay. This must be the place. Nice. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Cool! Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Mm-hmm. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Yep. <laughs> uh, I like this, alright, cool. Okay, Article of Echons. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires or Echons as they prefer to call themselves. Really? You want to be called like a Pokemon? <laughs> Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all actions, but the trained eye will spot they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, and necessary to flee, I have seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished and just reappeared somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they are so quickly, but it is not a teleport, not a teleport or dematerializ dematerialization. It is only a supernatural speed. Oh, okay, so he wasn't teleporting. We're just zooming by. Okay, gotcha. For me, it's a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also notice that such speed seems to exhaust them, and they're bound to physical in intimidations. Mesmerism. One of the most powerful ab abilities a vampire can deploy is the cap uh, capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trace mesmerism. But it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter subjective mental state. 
A vampire can bend the mortal to the will, and they can even break up the mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as a vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. Oh! So the, if they fight, they can break their mind and they'll be controlled forever? Jesus. Or they'll just, like, be messed up? The same vampire explained to me that the ability requires time to master, and that the result could vary widely from one subject to another. Implanting a false memory, erasing a painful one, and possibilities are endless and frightening. Oh, that's probably what happened, right? With, uh, with, uh, Jonathan when he got bit. That's why he, his memory's all, like, fucked up. So whoever bit him screwed with him. Blood awareness, this may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenzy drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function. They express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be weak. Even if it cannot die of hunger or thirst, the urge for this need of blood may explain why the vampire is so aroused by it. Yeah, they get boners by it. A vampire confessed to me that the blood could sometimes bl blind them. Since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong, when it focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them, inside warm bodies, through the walls, and supposedly clean weapons, etc. The same vampire even told me that I can see a more uh, can uh, the same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has a clean blood or it's ill, and in some cases can even sense diseases, affected uh, infected clothes, or even t items in the room. If this is true, it could have many medical application almost beggars to belief. So um, that helps. Definitely explains why there's so many vampires in this hospital to begin with. I think they're just studying them just so they can get an idea of who they are and possibly maybe control them or help them in a way so that they can be used. Kind of like how Jonathan is right now. He's a doctor. Like, you can't really dismiss the fact that the guy's a good surgeon just because he's a vampire. So I guess that's why Edgar gave him the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe we can help him at the same time he can help us. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So, uh, a lot of things we learned. Um, definitely this hospital is harboring vampires, but in a more humane way. They're not, like, killing them or anything. They're just kind of studying them and trying to understand. Because a lot of the vampires in London are victims. They're not really willing to be vampires, you know what I mean? Just like Jonathan. He doesn't want to kill people. He, he just- it just happened to him. And, um... We can definitely tell this is- I'm gonna struggle with this so badly because that first guy that we killed underneath the hospital, I do feel bad, but at the same time he was an asshole, but I know what they're trying to get at because it's just like, you can kill as many people as you want, but at the same time, ah, uh, it might not be so good. So we'll see what happens next. But anyway, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you know when I upload the next vampire episode. And yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. I really like the story, just the gameplay, like the combat gameplay is a little bit janky for me, but overall it's a very enjoyable game. Shout out to Focus Home Interactive for sending me a game key to play this. I really appreciate this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah, oh, fuck! Well... <laughs> I always do this when I play this goddamn game! <laughs> oh, there- A lot of them don't get any credit they deserve, so today, I'll be talking about five awesome video game sidekicks. Number five, Daxter. Jack and Daxter series. Daxter, the 